Hello again my channel watchers and subscribers here is the second video of Xiaomi C300 smart camera in this video I'm going to turn it on and connect to the Mi Home application this is it Xiaomi Home app we need to connect camera to the application and let's go through it step by step okay i already have installed the app and now i need to connect add device I will add camera to the power supply. located on the label on the camera to enter the configuration page. Awaiting connection. Okay, I need to scan the QR code. This is it, it found Awaiting it. connection. I need to press the reset button for three seconds. Reset successfully. Starting, please wait. So it said wait, I'm waiting. Please scan the QR code located on the label on the camera to enter the configuration page. Awaiting connection. Let's see what happens after pressing the reset button in the app. Okay. Awaiting connection. Here is the network, only works with 2.4G gigahertz and I have chosen it and we are connecting now. Connecting, please wait. Connected to Wi-Fi network successfully. Device paired to account successfully. So you heard everything, I hope, what the camera said. And we need to set a room. Let, let it be kids room because it is for kid. You can also invite family members so you can check the camera for more than one device. This is good. So me and my wife, we could use the camera both on our devices. So I suppose we should also put this application in our phones. And for now, I'm not sharing it because I'm not ready for it yet. Do not prompt. Oh. I did some mistake, I think, but 
we can see that camera is working already okay let's go back so I'm on uh, the home page of app and we can see that here is the camera you can check the video so this is real time yes and i can hear me here on the tab okay i press off the sound i can enlarge it quality looks pretty good in the app when it is calm when I'm not moving it here is a date and time so we are ready to use the cam let's go off the full screen mode and check the options here okay i have opened it and i can i can speak can you hear me yes i can hear myself in in the camera i can i can take pictures here I can record videos. I think these are saved in a phone or tablet here because the camera has a micro SD card for itself to record videos. And here is option to, to move the camera. Everything is working very well right now. So this is it, how everything works here. And let's check some settings here. So you can name your device out here. Here is firmware update. I will take it later on after this video. I can change some uh, settings here. I don't know what does it mean. It is not working for me. Let's check one more time. I really do, don't know what what is this setting you have to check it by yourself additional settings some security settings you can put on passwords you can check your network information some Lego information time zone you can add shortcut to your home screen i did it already so okay
okay yes here is the shortcut so i can go straight to the camera from the screen but i think i don't need it okay next some help and feedback information Automation isn't supported on shared devices. I don't know what does this means. So I can share here the device. So I will do it later. I can manage locations. I can give a name to the camera. So these are general settings, device settings. So, so you can have some cloud security. You can store videos on cloud service. Of course, it's, it's not for free. You can manage storage, so you can add your SD card here in front of your camera when it is turned off. Uh, here is also AI settings, so you can you can uh, check when the baby is crying. So it's some good news for me. So. I need it for baby. Home surveillance settings. I don't know what does this means, but it's like for checking the home. So it's probably when you are not at home, you can turn on some schedule to check your home. So when it's not turned on, it is probably not checking all the time, but you have to check it by yourself. I will do it also later. And here are camera settings, ah, status light. It's better to have it off, I suppose. Data usage warning. Gesture warnings, I'm not sure if I need them. Sleep settings. I don't know if I need right now. Image settings. So you can put a timestamp on. Some distortion corrections. Wide dynamic range, of course, we need. night vision settings I will activate switch automatically I don't need to calibrate the gimbal but it is possible also okay camera will follow when motion is detected okay probably why i don't need this pop-up window i don't need it right now but you can do something else and watch what is happening to your baby or other stuff And you can adjust vol volume to your playback. Okay, so these are all the settings and you can reboot the device through the app. 
I think this is everything you need to know. Camera is working, settings are very easy, very easy to connect, very easy to use. It is very, very functional camera. And let's start to use it. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. So press the like but button and thank you for watching. Goodbye.